Isaiah Thomas went from an MVP candidate to out of the league within just a few years. And right now, you can watch Isaiah play in Jamal Crawford's crossover Pro-Am League where you might casually catch him putting up an 81 point game and dedicating it to Kobe. Watching him play against these dudes, it really looks like he's not even trying. If he can average almost 30 points a game in the NBA, then he can take on any level of competition no matter what and thrive. Then just a week or so before that 81 point game in Atlanta's AEBL Pro-Am, Isaiah dropped 65 points going about 70% speed. And yes, I know all these players aren't NBA level, but come on now. These dudes can play. The thing about Isaiah is he needs a system in order to be as impactful as he can be. In Boston with Brad Stevens, he was the main dude and it worked but he wants a chance at being a real part of the system rather than just being a guy they picked up and hopefully he can find his role. Like people expect him to randomly be signed by the Pelicans on a 10 day contract and put up MVP numbers immediately. He's never played with these guys before and isn't in the role he wants. He's 32 years old and at this point he's more than just a dude you pick up to get buckets. IT knows what it's like and what it takes to be successful in the NBA. Being drafted with the very last pick in the draft and becoming an MVP candidate, not with the team he was even drafted with, he can not only help younger players, but lead by example. Isaiah needs a serious role in order to be at the point he truly wants to be at again, and that's not really a bad thing, but he needs to be in control to be able to play his game. The only problem with that is the fact that nobody wants to give him that chance at that kind of role again. IT knows he can be an MVP and if he was still in the Celtics system, who knows where he'd be at today. It's hard to adjust from being an MVP with a ball in your hands to being just another guy off the bench. But honestly, if he wants a chance again, that's probably going to be what it has to take. Sully have to relearn his role and adjust his game in order to be able to play the role that the team needs instead of trying to be the old Isaiah Thomas when the offense doesn't need that. Isaiah went from averaging 28.9 points and 6 assists a game with the Celtics to 15-5 and five after being traded to the Cavs and Lakers. After the Lakers with the Nuggets, he would later have his hip surgery. Then the Wizards did give him a chance, but clearly he still wasn't 100%, he just didn't fit. But it brings up the question, why did the Celtics even trade him when he was performing at such a high level? Well, this is where the downfall of Isaiah kinda happens. The only real reason they traded him was because he was hurt. His hip injury stuck with him years after the fact even. And they also had the chance to get Kyrie Irving, who at the time was looking like the hottest available player. Isaiah put his blood, sweat, and tears into the Celtics and even playing in a playoff game the day after his sister passed away. The Celtics meant a lot to him, but them being willing to move on that quick was a huge surprise. If you follow him on Twitter, he's got to say that he feels completely healthy for the first time in a long time. If he got another contract where he knew he'd be along for the whole season, he would not only be able to help his team with his play, but be able to mentor for the younger guards. He literally used to be called the king in the fourth, known for being clutch and coming up when it matters most. No matter what happens, that doesn't just go away. Very, very few people in the entire world can average almost 30 points a game in the NBA. Now do it at the height of 5'9". Nobody has ever been able to put on a scoring clinic like him at his height. Isaiah won't fix your team from the get-go, but the more you invest in him, the more he's able to give you. It seemed like the Sixers that already have the height could use him to help with their offense. Speaking of offense, the Warriors have a system in place to get their guards open, and IT could fit that mold perfectly. And rebuilding teams like the Pistons and the Rockets could also use him for his veteran leadership. I really think if he had one more chance at a vet minimum, he would be able to show the NBA that he's finally healthy and ready to come back and finish his career the right way. The biggest question is, is will he stay healthy? No matter how it goes, Isaiah really defied the odds his entire career. And if you can't take anything away from that, then I'm sorry for you. He was the 60th overall pick, is 5'9", had a 10-year career, averaged 29 points a game for an entire season, was an MVP candidate, and made over $33 million just from his contracts alone. The man really did it all and played way beyond expectations, so you can't really hate on that. We'll just have to see what happens to him in the future. That's all I have for the video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos like this one. 
Seriously, Cyanite Tea.